T-Mobile has got 30% more coverage and 40% improved latency on its 5G network, thanks to something known as standalone 5G. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on T-Mobile and their push to bring 5G out to the country. Now this week T-Mobile has announced that they are the first carrier in the world to enable a technology called standalone 5G and basically overnight just by flipping a switch in their network they were able to get 30% more coverage so vastly increasing their 5G coverage maps and network latency improved by 40% as well. How did they do this? What is standalone 5G? Well, it's complicated, but let me explain simply that up to this point, all 5G networks have been running as kind of a turbo layer on top of underlying 4G networks. So every 5G connection still needs a 4G connection behind the scenes that is kind of the control and the main base foundation, and then the 5G is just kind of a turbo layer on top. Um, the downside of this is that to have a 5G connection, you also have to have a good strong 4G connection, and it means that the 5G connection is limited by the network latency that is possible on the slower and not technically as advanced 4G network. Now, standalone 5G is a, the next evolution of the 5G standards, which gets rid of the need for having an underlying 4G network. So this lets T-Mobile really push 5G out to the full extent of its LTE band 71 coverage by using that band for 5G all the way out to the edges, even in places where there's no anchor band, no solid 4G underneath that. So T-Mobile is now able to push its 5G coverage out to the full limits of its um, 600 megahertz spectrum. And also by not needing an uh, underlying um, 4G network anymore, um, 5G is able to really go at its full peak improved latency. So instead of 30, 40 milliseconds, some people on T-Mobile are re reporting latencies under 20 milliseconds, which will make gaming much improved and a lot of applications just feel more responsive. This is the beginning of 5G's raw potential being unlocked where 5G is stepping beyond just being really good 4G. So this is, you know, great news, big move for T-Mobile. Kudos to them for being first. But there are, of course, some catches. For one, you know, and to start with, only two phones support standalone 5Gs, the Gal Samsung Galaxy S20 series and the OnePlus 8. Um, the rest, eventually, there will be more T-Mobile 5G phones that will be getting a software update to support this. It's unclear what devices and when, but hopefully soon most of the T-Mobile 5G devices will have this. And, well then, what about other carriers? Is this just like T-Mobile running away with 5G technology? Well, no. Every carrier is going to be using standalone 5G for their networks out eventually. T-Mobile gets bonus points for being first, but this is a long marathon. This is not, this race is not a sprint, and all the carriers are planning the similar technology probably coming before the end of the year. So that's kind of an update on what standalone 5G is, why you should keep your eye on it, um, why now T-Mobile suddenly got an even bigger 5G coverage map, and well, well, Got to keep an eye out for when all the other carriers are going to get on board as well. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.